Our next guest is an expert, her and her partner, in products, startups, and helping businesses find their full potential. We're going to talk to her right now and get an idea of how they can help small businesses around the country. We certainly are. Her name is Jacqueline Snyder, joining us today from New Jersey. She is one of two of the Product Boss, uh, an amazing, beautiful website online, uh, an amazing podcast that you're doing out there as well. Uh, welcome to the show, Jacqueline. Great to connect with you. Hi, and thank you for having me. Yeah, tell us a little bit about the uh, Shop 1 in 5 Small Business Owner Pledge that you founded. Yeah, so my business partner and I founded this at the end of 2020 because what we saw in 2020 were small businesses were shutting down everywhere. They were also the hero. It was a thing that our dollars mattered. And if we spent with small businesses, we had the ability to keep these businesses in business. Mm -hmm. So towards the end of 2020, we founded the Shop One in Five Pledge, which is a pledge to make one in five of your purchases from a small business online or offline. Um, and then we created the Small Business Shopping Directory because we saw that consumers were having trouble finding small businesses. If they didn't just drive to Main Street USA, um, they didn't know how to find small businesses online. And so that's why we created this directory to make it really easy to find them. I love that. And you know what, truly, um, the, these small businesses, they really are, when you think of small businesses, you might think, oh, they're just a small piece of the pie of America, but they are like, I believe like the majority employer in America. It's they, they, it's mm -hmm. so important that they thrive. Uh, so uh, prioritizing actually going there and spending your dollar, it's kind of like voting. It's going, like going to the voting booth and saying, I vote to keep you in business. Absolutely. Think about how many businesses are out of business. I know there's local restaurants that I'm just so disappointed that they're just not there anymore. Yes. And really, it takes us from a local level to support small businesses around us, but also from a national level. So that's why we really wanted to make it easy to find them online, because exactly what you said, they're employing people. Um, they were the ones that were still able to employ people in the, you know, during the pandemic and beyond. They're, they're growing, they help give back money to the local community. You know, when you spend with a small business that's local, they will fix your schools, their tax dollars go to your schools and the sidewalks. And then it, it shifts out if you think of it as a concentric circle. The small businesses here, they're helping your local community, then your state, and then nationwide. So it just really has a bigger impact than we all realize. Well, you know, I had an experience that might be relevant. I just ordered pillow um, covers from Home Depot because I found them online and, you know, they're inexpensive and they could ship them quick. And I thought, great. And then right after that, I did the purchase. I looked on Etsy and I saw all these people creating them actually around the country, you know, by hand. And I thought, oh my goodness, what a mistake I just made. I could have gotten real craftsmanship. So in many cases, you're also supporting just American craftsmanship when you support small business. Yeah, absolutely. And listen, we all do that. Even founding the pledge, my business partner has a huge business on Amazon. So she is still a small business owner that is selling and distributing through Amazon. So one thing to just realize is you can read the notes, you can get to learn more about businesses where you're buying from. But that's why we ask people to make one in five of their purchases from a small business, because truthfully, we buy based on convenience. So maybe Costco pillows were great, but then the next time that you buy or the next time you're thinking, I wanna you know, add to my house or decorate, you perhaps go to Etsy, you can go to the shop one and five small business shopping directory and, and kind of make that decision. And it's really gonna just take us training ourselves. You know, it, instead of driving to Starbucks, which I love, and I will still go to yeah. once in a while, I will have to like maybe one out of the five days, I'll drive to my local coffee shop instead. So try to make it realistic. Um, yeah. And then yes. I think as it becomes something that we do, then, you know, we'll be more aware of our actions as we move forward. Yeah. You know, it's, it's tough yeah. when you have the, you know, these multi multi nation organizations that have multi million dollar AdWord accounts on Google and you're just a corner shop. It's like, how, how do I compete with that? So you really have to make an effort, a concerted effort to be able to give them uh, some business for sure. Let's talk about your, uh, your podcast. You're, you're uh, helping small business owners with this and, and you have a course as well, course offerings for small businesses that are looking to elevate. We do. So we have the Product Boss podcast, which is one of the top 10 marketing podcasts in the country. Really proud to say that. And we help small business owners that are making physical products. So many services or so many podcasts go towards businesses that are service-based. And we saw that there was a big 
lack in the market for those people that want to build these businesses out of their home. They may be makers or manufacturers. They want to grow businesses, but they also want that really blended with their life and their lifestyle. Um, and so they probably have, they could have young children or a lot of people want to retire their husbands and take them out of, let's say, you know, jobs that are <laughs> risky and they want them to come and work for them. So it's really this, this shift and knowing that, and majority of our students are women and they are making their own money and building these businesses. And we've seen many of them hit million dollars in revenue. So it's just an incredible thing. So yeah, we offer courses to help product-based businesses grow. We also have masterminds. And as always, there's the podcast is just full of free information. Sweet. It's just great awareness, Jacqueline. Thank you so much for sharing your passion for small business today. I think it's awesome. I was giggling because I think you said retire your husband. Husband, you're um, retired mm -hmm. now. Yes, which I thought <laughs> it is a goal. Yeah, hey, of course, <laughs> get them to stop working for a second. I'm I'm all about it. Uh, Jack, yeah. it's great having you. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Thank you. All right, right now on shop one and five.com, they're doing their biggest small biz holiday collab ever. One uh, shop number one in number five.com. If you want to learn more about the product boss, go to the product boss.com.